Back home, experts say finding underground reservoirs of water could solve Singapore's problem of not having enough space to hold rainwater. Their comments follow the recent tender called by PUB to study the feasibility of extracting groundwater from southern and western Singapore. The tender will be awarded in July. If a three-year study shows promise, Singapore could join a host of countries that source drinking water from the ground. Groundwater could then add to Singapore's water supply that now depends on four sources, imported water, catchment water, treated recycled water and desalinated water. For now, the area under scrutiny is a 200 million year old land space seen on this map in light blue. The Jurong Formation in the, in the west of the island is uh, made up of uh, porous rocks, lots of sandstone. So they know there's water going through the rocks. Um, the, question, the next question is how much water? Uh, next question after that, is it drinkable? Experts also hope the study will show how water can be extracted from these aquifers or underground reservoirs sustainably. If water is removed and not replenished, it could lead to the land subsiding. Because of this void being empty, the soil particles come together, occupying a more compact surfaces. So if you're looking at the wide expanse of the area, the compaction of these surfaces means that it has to go downwards. The ground surface has to settle down to occupy the space that has been emptied out. Recharging the ground with water can avert the problem. PUB recently embarked on a study to extract groundwater from reclaimed land on Jurong Island. This illustration shows how recharging could work. Jurong Island and the western parts of the main island both sit on the formation. Rainwater soaks through the ground and flows downwards, recharging the formation and the reclaimed land surface. To sustain water extraction from the reclaimed land and from deeper in the aquifers would mean creating a cycle, pumping water out at one end and allowing rainfall to replace it while giving time for the groundwater to be naturally cleaned before being pumped out again. If we can establish an aquifer and through our engineering contributions develop it into a sustainable water source, all right. In an island state like this, I think it will be uh, something exciting to do. I'm standing on the grounds of Badog Reservoir, which sits on a 100 million year old formation called the Old Alluvium. Now, geologists say this formation in the east is made up of sand and gravel. And based on studies on similar formations elsewhere, its potential to hold groundwater could be even greater.